Hey guys, I'm about to give you a crash course in one of my favorite tools for the business, Google Drive. So let's get started and dive right in. Um, basically, Google Drive is a cloud storage that allows you to store files. But not only that, it lets you create, share, and collaborate on anything from documents to spreadsheets to presentations. And the cool thing is you can do it from anywhere. So if you're like me and you work for multiple computers like your laptop or your desktop or your phone, you can even download the app for your phone, you can access your documents from any of those devices. So getting started, how do you get there? Well, you already have a Google Drive if you have a Gmail account. If you do not have a Gmail, go ahead and create one. When you're in your Gmail account, you can click on this grid and it will come up with the apps and you can just click on Google Drive. Or if you're in Google Chrome, you can click, um, you have to go back one, but you can click this app button and it will bring you right to Google Drive. You can click on that. From there, you'll show up right here. Now, I use my Google Drive for just about everything, so as you guys can see, I have a ton of files in here. But don't worry, the cool thing is there's this search box up here. So, you know, if you're trying to find something, you can just type it in and it will come up with those documents. So I even have our 21 Day Smart Start uh, guide to this group. That's where we keep track of all the training. Now, because Lindsay, Lindsay, Brittany, and myself are all working on this together, uh, this is why we love Google Drive. We can collaborate on this document. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. Uh, but basically, you can create a document and we've inserted a grid on here. And then you can insert things like pictures uh, or text and you can make the text very fun or you know, use it in the way that's best going to suit your needs. Now let's backtrack a little bit. How do you create a document? Well, it's super easy. If you currently have files like Word or PDFs on your computer that you would like to edit or be able to access from anywhere, you can quickly, simply click over here uh, and upload files or even entire folders from your computer. If you wanna create something new, you just click the Create button and it will give you options as to what type of file you would like to create. So let's create a document. Now let's say that you are working on a new challenge group post. You can create a document for that and then you can go ahead and just, you know, type in here, edit it. You can even make the font different. Uh, all kinds of fun tools in here. It's exactly like Microsoft Office, you know, for our purposes. Now let's say that you create, uh, you know, your text and then you want to insert your picture. You can just click on insert picture and then you can choose a picture to upload. So let's just pick this summer sale. Open. It's going to upload that and insert it right into the document for you. And then uh, you can mess around with it, resize it, all kinds of fun things. Now let's say that you created your challenge group post and you would like your coach to take a look at it and be able to give you some feedback. You can click in the upper right corner, share. And right now, anything you create, it's gonna have private on it. So only you can access it, but you can change that setting and say that you want it public to anybody or Anyone with the link is able to view it. Now let's say that you would like your sponsor coach to be able to edit it and give you some feedback and make some changes. You can change that to edit, save, and now you can simply send them this link here at the top and they'll be able to not only view it, but edit it as well. You can also invite people to view it by clicking and putting their email address right here. And you can determine if you want them to be able to view it or maybe you just want them to be able to add little notes and comments so that you yourself can edit it. Very simple, very easy to use. So that's basically using the documents. The other thing you can create are spreadsheets. Now spreadsheets are important when you're creating something such as a contact list or a follow-up list. So I want to show you guys 
my uh, example follow-up list. So this is simply creating a spreadsheet and you can put in whatever information you think is necessary uh, for following up. So here's just an example, you know, with some of my customers' names. Obviously, I left off their email and phone for privacy. Uh, the date that I contacted them, a follow-up date, and then I put notes like whether or not they're on Shakeology, what workout do they like, have they or have they been in or are they in a challenge group? And then I like to make notes about, you know, as I talk to them, um, you know, things so that I can help, you know, help myself remember them by or help myself, you know, with that next conversation or follow up. As you can see, I've also put whether or not I believe that they're a coach prospect, if they'd make a great coach, and just other notes over here. You can really customize this and use it to your benefit uh, and make it work for you. Make it something, you know, if you like a lot of color or uh, as you can see over here on the left side with some of the names, I've highlighted them different colors. So one strategy I have on my follow-up list, because I'm a very visual person, is once I follow up with someone, I will change the color of their background so that I know, let's just say they're all white and then I follow up and I make them all turquoise and then the next time I follow up, I'll change the color to a different color. That way I can keep track and a really quick view of who I followed up with. Again, you can share uh, and give people access to this document um, or you can just keep it to yourself. Um, you can also upload files. So the cool thing is if you have an entire folder that you need to upload, you can upload that. For example, I shared with everyone from my previous team call earlier this month all of the slides that I created. So instead of individually going and uploading these, I simply uploaded that entire file and I went over here and I'm able to share that. Uh, you can also upload just straight up files. So let's say I wanted to be able to upload this summer sale pricing so I can access it from a different computer or send it to somebody. I can go ahead and upload that file and then you'll see it show up right here because I put it in this folder. Cool, huh? <laughs> the other thing you can do is create folders if you would like to organize things. So let's just say uh, I'm going to call this team call, team calls. So I've created a folder called team calls and I accidentally put it in the wrong spot. So I'm just going to move it to my drive. So now I'm right here. And let's just say I want to move some files in there because I have some team calls that are just kind of hanging out over here. So I can just click on these team calls and I can just drag them and now they're organized in this file instead of having a ton of documents here. So now they're no longer over here. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for your crash course in Google Drive. Have fun with this. You know, the best way to learn is really just to experiment with it, play around, start clicking some things, and see what happens. Uh, another cool little feature for you guys is you can switch the view, you know, depending on what makes more sense for you, to either a list or if you like a grid where it gives you a mini snapshot of, you know, what is in your Google Drive, that could be helpful for you. Uh, but really, just have fun with this and use it to your advantage because it's such an amazing tool.